Welcome to Power Switches, a brief overview of different types of power switches, such as load switches, power muxes, e-fuses, ideal diodes, and high side switches, and comparing them at a high level. A power switch provides power distribution and protection features that enables engineers to develop robust electronic systems. They can range from a load switch for simple on-off functionality to an e-fuse with many cutting-edge protection features. One of these protection features is reverse polarity protection. An e-fuse does this by integrated protection features to monitor the V-in and V-out for negative voltage and blocking reverse current. Power switches are used in computers, phones, refrigerators, cars, factories, and many other end equipment. First, we have load switches, which are generally used for power distribution and processor power sequencing. They have been involved in applications of 0 to 18 volts and 0 to 10 amps of current. They also have a few key features such as inrush current control, quick output discharge, thermal shutdown, and power good signal. Some even have short circuit protection. A key characteristic of load switches is the low shutdown and quiescent current, which is why they are commonly used in power saving applications. Load switches are ideal for products that need to turn on and off such as computers, data storage, e-bikes, and many other systems. For instance, here's a load switch being used for processor power sequencing in an e-bike reference design. Also make sure to check out ti.com slash load switch to find the best load switch for your product. Up next, we have power muxes, which are power switches that prioritize from multiple power sources. They are generally used for power distribution, handling typically two voltages, and have been used in applications of 2.8 to 22 volts and 0 to 4.5 amps of current. They have key protection features such as reverse current blocking, reverse polarity protection, short circuit protection, inrush current control, and also supports seamless switchover, which provides constant output voltage when switching power supplies as opposed to an output drop with a discrete solution. They are useful for applications where multiple sources can be used to power one product. For example, cell phones today have wireless and wired charging. Depending on the power mux used, it can prioritize which source to use to power the phone. Other examples include smoke detectors and e-meters. Here's an e-meter reference design and where a power mux could fit in. Also make sure to check out ti.com slash power mux to find the best power mux for your device. Next is e-fuses, which are power switches with the most integrated protection. They are generally used for input power protection and can handle a broad range of input voltages and currents. They have key protection features such as under voltage lockout, over voltage protection, reverse current blocking and reverse polarity protection, current monitoring, are UL and IEC qualified, and support higher voltage ranges. The same solution implemented with discrete components would require more components, board space, and will cost more. E-fuses are ideal for high availability systems such as USB-C ports, servers, SSDs, and PC notebooks. Here's an industrial PC reference design showing where an e-fuse could be used. Also make sure to check out ti.com slash e-fuse to find the best e-fuse for your device. Then we have ideal diodes which are power switches that can replace diodes. Ideal diodes are generally used for input power protection. They can handle a broad range of voltage from 0 to 100 volts and have a broad range of current. Diodes generally have a high voltage drop which results in power loss and higher temperatures while ideal diodes work by monitoring an external FET and dissipate much less power which also results in lower temperatures. They have key protection features such as reverse current blocking, reverse polarity protection, and some are AEC qualified which is useful in infotainment systems, lighting, construction equipment, and many other automotive electronics. Here is a reference design for construction equipment highlighting where an ideal diode could be placed. Also make sure to check out ti.com slash ideal diode to find the ideal diode for your product. Finally. We have high side switches, which are switches that have adjustable current limits and are commonly used for output protection. They have a broad range of voltages from 6 to 80 volts and can cover currents up to 12 amps. High side switches have multiple channels, current sensing, 
integrated VDS clamp for inductive loads, current limiting, short circuit protection, are AEC and IEC qualified, and are also functional safety capable to reduce customer testing time. They are commonly used for automotive and industrial equipment that require components compliant with AEC and IEC standards, such as HVAC modules, robotics, and body control modules. Here's a body control module reference design showing where a high side switch could be placed. Also make sure to check out ti.com slash high side switch to find the best high side switch for your product. Though all the switches have differences, note that each switch can be used in many different configurations than mentioned. I hope you found this video helpful and for more in-depth information on power switches, check out our ebook 11 ways to protect your power path. Thank you.